quick one since why not? Uh, I got the other bed line hooked up. You see it up there. And that's making a world of difference. Um, I also started playing around a lot more with like cruising AFR. Honestly, I think I had it fucking lean. Like, I don't know what, what, why, or how far I wasn't really thinking about it. I honestly think I had it like far too lean and it was possibly heating, heating up in there pretty bad. Um, it could have caused some of my extenuating heat situation with the piston just ripping ring lands out i don't know or also like no meth not enough meth as it were uh, i was playing with closed loop idle it's like on closed loop idle right now i honestly have a lot to learn there with idle settings and such having a stepper motor or iec or whatever is it's a different ball game with tuning than just <laughs> slamming the micro together i can definitely see like what people talk about with the very tunable but it's also kind of a little bit of a learning curve I guess I wouldn't really say pain in the ass because I mean it's not like labor intensive it's just kind of sitting there and knowing that the thing could idle fucking great right this second if I knew the magical goddamn keys to hit but I don't so I'm just it's just like I'm in wizard training trying to learn how to fucking wizard just reading the the uh you know book Fuck, what is it? The mega mega manual shit. Green that. I mean it's idling better. I don't know if it's just I'm being total uh what would you call it like trying to act like I am tuning uh you know my big block car and I'm like why isn't it idling at a thousand in park and eight hundred in drive and all low B and like blah 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 whatever. So I mean maybe there's just a little bit of that learning curve. During the day today it was it was uh, hunting a little bit. Not too bad, but um, to some degree it was hunting. It was pretty hot out, I mean, it's always hot out here, so I guess I gotta factor that in. And I'm not, I, professionally, you know, I don't do this all the time, so can't get too crazy on myself. So far, so good, I mean, like right now, it's, I'm happy with it, as long as it's like that, you know, I throw it in neutral now. It pops up quite a bit, I don't know, I guess maybe that might just be, might just be fucking normal. I don't know, dude. But that's my endeavors for right now. It looks like the car's like kind of ready to go for Friday, Saturday. So I'm just trying to one not throw a ring land out of it or a piston or something stupid. So it's kind of hard. I should probably be playing with the tune a little bit more than I am. I just I'd rather get there and maybe make like a pass or two, kind of lighthearted and see how it, how it does. Uh, tune off some data logs rather than trying to rip third on streets around here and the car is just like it's fast man and we don't have a lot of really long drawn out streets and it's just it's kind of not really super safe um i'm not against i think you know so far i've had a lot of street tuning in i don't think i'm doing a bad job but then again you have those situations where you know on a dyno you can just sit there and wham second third or whatever and get some good data out of it here i kind of like boom 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 hit a data log start a data log make sure no one's around ish kind of and then just fucking whack it so i mean it's a little bit of it's a little scary but i know bitch so there's that it's running pretty good i'm really happy with it like just cruising i kind of left it a little up into the the mid to high 14s sounds happier it doesn't sound labor intensive it sounds like more of a hum uh so that's good uh i don't know she boogies 